Ciao guys, Tarewood here. So CS just ended and STC surprised us with the Vive Pro. So the new Vive, the 1.5, the mid generation is better in every way. It's basically the Vive under steroids is bulkier, better screen, better audio, better fitting and it's blue. So that's great. And it's ready for Steam VR tracking 2.0. That's what we're gonna have at the end of the year. So let's go through the specs to see why and for what we have to be excited for. Okay, talking about the screens, we're gonna have two screen, 3.5 inches display, OLED from Samsung. So probably the same when, that we've seen on the Odyssey and that's pretty good because there were great resolution and of course great colors. The resolution is 1440 by 1600. 1615 ppi so pixel per inch that's a 37 percent more than what was the first five overall there are the 78 percent more of pixel in all the screen the only thing that they didn't change are the lenses our fretinal lenses are the same of the first generation of the vive and that's not so so great because the rings were very noticeable and we're gonna have the same god rays and the same distortion that we had before. The thing that they improved though is the cushion. So there's gonna be less like bleeding inside. So we're gonna have at least less distortion from the light outside. And that's great. Overall, they enhanced all the fitting of the headset where the weight now is more balanced in all the parts. So it will be one third, one third, one third on the front on the top and on the back of your head and even if it's bulkier and looks bulkier they said that it's gonna be more and more comfortable and I strongly believe them because what is gonna be the next generation of VR is for sure a better fitting to keep it on for longer time and that's what we need and what this company are really studying for they also included the headphones and are removable you have just have to screw everything in the instruction so uh, don't be uh, afraid you can still use your amazing headphones but they did the screw thing because they really really believe in the quality of these headphones they put an amplifier inside so the sound is going to be richer and more powerful too and from who tried them they said they fit better on your ears and they just sounds great. So I strongly believe that that's the direction we have to go. Are also 360 special audio. So the in the experience in VR will be great for games. We're gonna understand exactly from where the sound is coming from. They also included in the back of the earpiece, the volume rocker on the left side so for go volume up and down and the mute button on the right and that's great so you can actually talk with people in your room without let all the people in your vr party knows what you want to say to your wife or to your girlfriend or whatever is in the room with you so big big improvement and looking at the front it's noticeable right away there are two cameras now and not one like in the first generation these are not for mixed reality so don't expect this to be a windows mixed reality headset the position is too close up front to give a wide view for the tracking they're there for developers so developers can use them in game in ar in mr real mr of course and so we're gonna see if they're gonna decide to use it or will be just left in the niche like in the old vibe. The good thing about F2 now that first of all, we are gonna have a stereoscopic view through the cameras. So that's gonna help to grab things in the real world while you are in VR. And also it's gonna be great if somebody wants to hack it and make it a mixed reality headset too. So we're gonna be able to use the cliff house even in the vibe. Looking at the back, we noticed that the cable is the new cable, is the one that you can buy as an accessories. So it's not the big and heavy cable with three different cables stuck together, but it's one single cable long like before. So at least they improved that too, and that's great. And as I said before, this device will be 
ready for the 2.0 tracking. So when the knuckles are gonna come out and the new lighthouses from Valve are gonna be ready, that is gonna be already ready to start without any problem whatsoever. It will be a really footer-proof device and that's great. The device is also ready for the wireless adapter that is gonna come out later this year. It's based on the WeGeek technology 60 GHz from Intel. They collaborated at Intel and HTC to do it. Actually, it looked like a pair of cards and <laughs> it's pretty funny to look at that. But who cares? Like, we're gonna be in VR anyway, so nobody's gonna notice. And it's totally fine. At the CES, they presented it just with the old vibe. So they're still working a lot on it and looking that it was just on Vibes and not Vive Pros make kind of sure that it is not ready to handle the higher resolution of the Vive Pro yet but for sure it will be ready later this year and I'm so ready to be part of the wireless revolution because this is gonna be the change point for VR it's not gonna be like tricky like was the TP-Link where we had to have two routers to get all the signal true but it's gonna be just one receiver that look like a camera just to put over our head so the latency will be perfect and no more cable to get caught in okay i'm talking about price and availability rumors say that it's gonna be 359 349 but i'm pretty concerned about this price point because we all know that HTC has pretty high price points and 349 seems a little too reasonable and right to be there so we're gonna see the future in the uh, the price in the future is also particular then they didn't announce the price with announcement of the device so for sure they are really still thinking about that and that's what is gonna probably also stop the device to be so successful because the price point right now is very very important we are seeing a lot of price cut from oculus from mixed reality devices and stuff and having another 700 dollar headset is not the way to go for sure because now the market wants something cheaper to be more mainstream will be ready for just an upgrade in the first part of the Q2. And then later this year will be available with all the kit, with the new lighthouses and everything when the, the Valve um, VR tracking will be ready. This were all the information about the HTC Vive Pro. They just announced it. I hope that you have a little more explanation about everything is happening right now. VR is on a turning point when they finally understood that the most important things is fitting and the screen and audio is not something that you have to just go through but it's very very important to have 3D audio too. This headset seems the step in the right direction. I'm super excited to get hands on it and finally try and give all my impressions so we will see when it's gonna be finally available. Okay, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, dislike. But let me know in the comment below what you think about the HTC Vive Pro. And subscribe to the channel for more about VR and tech in general. See you guys in the next video. Ciao!